Hello everyone. Please let us know if you run into any trouble with the streaming. You can message us through Facebook, or you can find our contact info at our website, which is rcch.org. It's just the four initials of the Ripton Community Coffee House, rcch, followed by dot .org. We're continuing with our streaming coffee house shows until it is safe to gather again at the Ripton Community House here in downtown Ripton. Hopefully that will be this coming September, though probably with a limited capacity. We'll just have to see as time passes. For these streaming shows, we are asking you to donate to the performer. Since we are not charging money at the door, it's through your generosity that they get paid. Their payment info will be posted periodically in the video and also in the comments section. Please contact us if you wish to pay the performers through other means than online. Next month, the Ripton Community Coffee House is going to be celebrating our 26th anniversary. We had planned a big celebration for our 25th last May, but as many of you know, other things intervened. So for our 26th anniversary, we're going to have a special show with great Mark Arelli. You will find details of that show on our website and on our Facebook page. More details will be forthcoming as we get closer to the date. But we're really here about tonight. And we are very, very happy to have a couple of great performers from our own state of Vermont, even though Keith Murphy originally came from New England. He's an adopted Vermonter. So Becky Tracy and Keith Murphy have been well known to the New England and Eastern Canadian dance community and to fans of exquisitely arranged traditional music for quite some time now. They've been playing together as well in numerous bands through the years and it has shaped their seamless manner of their playing. In addition to the traditional music they perform, Keith is a fine and prolific songwriter. We are all in for a treat. So, let me bring them up. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here are Keith and Becky. Hey everybody very good to be here and uh, delighted to be playing under the auspices of the Ripton Coffee House. So uh, welcome to your home. Hope you're comfortable. Uh, we're going to kick it off. <laughs> we're going to kick it off with um, with a couple of um, traditionally inspired original tunes of ours. And these uh, these two <clears throat> tunes, when you put the titles together, uh, they make a, a big wish for all of us. May you have joy and prosperity. The, the little wall spike from Beck, may you have joy, and then a reel from me, prosperity. <laughs>
have joy and prosperity. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, one thing I guess we've learned in this uh, in this recent era is that uh, online events do not necessarily mean non-participatory. You know, there's so many uh, participatory things happening online now, instrumental jam sessions all over the place. There's pub sings, um, there's music classes. Becky and I teach our weekly music class here through the Brattle River Music Center. So uh, in that spirit, we hope that you'll sing along on this chorus for this, for this song. Uh, this is a song by a man named Bob Coulter, and he wrote um, a bunch of songs kind of based on older traditional songs and ballads. And this one, this is sort of his retake, his take on um, the story of the death of Robin Hood. And one of, the, um, one of the elements of the traditional story of um, Robin Hood's death is that on his deathbed, one of his last wishes was he called for his bow. And he wanted to, he, his dying wish was that uh, when he shot his final arrow, wherever that arrow landed, that that would be where he would be buried. So there's probably some kind of a metaphor in there. I'm not totally clear on what it is, but... Um, would you like me to shut my mail program? <laughs> sure, sure. Becky's going to um, she's going to abstain from reading her mail during our concert. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So the chorus in this song is "No more, Robin, no more. Your outlaw days are over." And here's the melody. No more, Robin, no more. Your outlaw. Rise up from your bed of straw See if you can bend that short bow one last time Speak from your wounds and say you don't care You know it'll prey on your mind Wherever your arrow it falls to the ground Lay lonesome robin
Now time's taking your time away Time and deceptions have whittled you down And all of the times that ever you had Have took to their heels and run Hold on to whatever is closest to you That's all lonesome Robin can do One last time No more Robin, no more Your outlaw days are over No more Robin, no more Your outlaw Could almost hear you singing there. Yeah. So we're going to play a favorite of uh, a favorite of mine and a favorite of a number of people's a tune of Keith's called Hopavesi. And he wrote this tune when he was in Finland during the summer solstice in the middle of the summer and uh, didn't get a lot of sleep. It was a lot of sun. That's right. So he, he had wrote lots it. of lots of time to write tunes. Lots of time to write tunes. Uh, and this was from the town of Hapavesi, right? That's right. Yep. Town where had a <clears throat> he used to have a, a great folk festival and maybe still does. So here we go. <laughs>
definitely a, a waltz, not for the faint, a faint of heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna do a little blast of reels, uh, some some more tunes of mine, and. Um, uh, I think these were all tunes. We, we've often we've often talked about. We, for many years, we did this um, dance week in the Caribbean in Saint Croix, hosted by Wild Asparagus, run by George Marshall, and um, and we would feel so guilty about. I would feel so guilty about spending a week in February uh, in the Caribbean that I felt compelled to do some work during the day. So I would try to write a tune every day. So a lot of these tunes were were tunes that I that I uh, worked on on a sandy beach in the Caribbean. <laughs> Maybe you can hear like just a little bit of that, of the rolling ocean in there. These are called Saint Pierre, real Saint Pierre, and uh, G-Y-A-O for Get Your Aiden On. A little uh, tip of the hat to our son Aiden, a very enthusiastic contra dancer in his day. And if fish could fly. Well, we had thought um, 
we, we wanted to try to play something a little seasonal. So. Here's one of them. Yeah, we're going to do a song about melting ice. Um, God, it was not very long ago here out around Brattleboro. We still saw p the people out in their, in their ice huts doing ice fishing. Well, and it was not long before that that we were skating on the river for the first time, the Connecticut River. Yeah, it, it was, there was this little window of, of about a week, and the Connecticut River was frozen over. We had never, we had never seen the, the Connecticut River frozen. We had never done it. And we certainly never skated on the river. But there was this little, about, about a week or so, of good skating. But you could see, we went out several times, and you could see that day by day, the ice conditions changed, and you could see patches of open water, and you could see them changing day by day. I think the word is deteriorating. <laughs> <laughs> but we were very cautious. Unlike the uh, subject of this song from Newfoundland, uh, who was somewhat less cautious, a man who um, in April is still um, hauling wood across a frozen pond with his horse. And you'll see what happens. Turned up in a very short while. You can all 
always rely on the old birds and whites to render assistance in all of your bad plights. To help a poor neighbor is part of their lives. The same I can say for their children and wives. When the bowline was fastened around the mare's breast, will you wait for a shanty song? Made a request. There was no time for thinking, no time for delay. Straight from his end came the song right away. Lay hold, William Alford, lay hold, William White. Lay hold of the cordage and pull on your might. Lay hold them the bowline and pull all you can. And give me a lift for poor kid on the bond. Lay hold. We brought Kit out of Tickle Cove Pond. Cove Pond from Newfoundland. An old, old favorite. An old, old favorite. <laughs> but lest you think that that's an old, uh, you know, uh, 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 an event from, from long ago, um, I, I've actually found uh, on, on YouTube many videos of horses being rescued, having gone through the ice, uh, including, I think, here in Vermont. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to literally pull out the piano. Um, I mentioned, Magic. yeah. I mentioned earlier that uh, that Beck and I um, that we for many years now we've been teaching um, a traditional music class at our Brattleboro Music Center, and we have a wonderful uh, and uh, devoted and um, a great group of uh, students that we've had for for a long time, and um, you know about a year ago, oddly enough, uh, we started having that class online. And um, we, we didn't run it through the fall, but we've, through the winter, we, we picked it up again. And it's just been a, it's been a lovely thing for us every week to kind of reconnect with, with that group and, and to kind of play music together in this weird kind of way. So uh, we're going to play a couple of tunes that we've actually just recently uh, taught our, our class. There are a couple of Irish tunes. And the first one is by one of the great composers of Irish music today, a man named Charlie Lennon. It's a tune of his, it's a barn dance called Step It Out Joe. And then we're going to go into a reel called The Maid of Fecal. Thank you. 
All right. A blast of reels. A uh, no. blast of jigs. We'll do some, some jigs. jigs instead. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> One, two, But also a reference to Fiddle Hell. Exactly. It's a combination of the two. Fiddle Hell, for those of you who are not um, familiar, um, another big music event that uh, typically happens in the fall in the Boston area. Big gathering of uh, more fiddlers than you could possibly want, hence the name Fiddle Hell. Um, and um, once again, an uh, organization that's found its way very successfully online this year and not only that, but they're having a second round of Fiddle Hell uh, this month. Yeah. A little later this two, month. Two weekends from now. And Becky and I are going to be uh, teaching there uh, as part of that part of that online event. So uh, we're going to play a tune um, that I used to play with a teacher of mine about 30 years ago. Um, called Squire Wood's Lamentation on the Refusal of His Half Pence. A very, very long name for a beautiful tune. Thank you. 
Well, it's been a big weekend for birthdays around here. <clears throat> it was Becky's birthday just yesterday. <clears throat> and you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not dwell on that. Uh, and now, today, uh, a birthday of another very dear friend, a neighbor, and one of the great traditional singers anywhere. And that is uh, Tony Barron, right across the street from us. So happy birthday to Tony. Uh, we're going to do a song um, um, that will always be associated with Tony for me. It's a song um, that I learned with Tony when, when Tony and I were learning the repertoire from a family that lived near Brattleboro, near where we are here, uh, in the early 1900s, the Atwood family. Tony and I did a, a recording of, of a, a bunch of their songs. And along with uh, the song, we play another little tune of mine, uh, a reel called The Divine Reel. And that was named for uh, another good friend, uh, a great Irish fiddle player from Rhode Island, Jimmy Divine. Jimmy came up with his, uh, came up to Brattleboro years ago uh, for our Northern Roots Festival which is a, a festival that we run here uh, at the end of January. And uh, once again, an event that went online, of course, this year, uh, and was spearheaded this time around by, by Becky. So we'll do this song, The Soldiers Return with the Divine Reel. So cruel unto me, he scarce would 
allow me to keep her company. He locked her up so high, he kept her so severe. I scarcely had sight of my own dearest dear. Was then I resolved, this soldier, for to go to see whether I could forget my love or no. But when I came there, the army was so bright, it caused me to think of my own heart's delight. I serve in my king, and seven long years I return home again. My heart so full of woe, my eyes so full of tears. How happy would I be for to meet with my dear? Was then I resolved to her father's house to go to see if my true love was yet alive or no. But when her mother saw me, she looked at me and cried, my daughter loved you dearly, and for love she died. Was then I was struck like the man that was slain, the tears from my eyes fell like showers of rain. No, never, never more would I see my love again, no, never, never more would I see Do another one of uh, one of the pieces that we had thought had a little bit of a a seasonal connection. Uh, it's a tune, another tune of mine uh, that we recorded on our duo recording that came out last year. A duo recording called Golden. And um, it's a tune called Last Snow. It's a waltz. Another event that we're playing for coming up uh, this week, we're playing for a contra dance online. Even contra dances have moved online, and we're playing a contra dance that's hosted by uh, the Seattle contra dance group on Thursday night. This coming Thursday, with Lisa Greenleaf, we're gonna be so delighted to be with her Thursday. If you're a contra dancer, of course you, you know you're aware that this has been happening, but. Uh, other people, you might be surprised to know that dances are actually ha happening online. There's a caller uh, calling the dance moves and people, either as couples or even just alone, uh, dancing figures around. Uh, or listening or, or tapping listening. their feet. Or... As I say, this is a, we're going to do a waltz and this, uh, this is kind of my way of just kind of like uh, saying if you wanted to get up and waltz around uh, with a partner or not, you're very welcome to dance the, um, Last Snow.
Hope you found a good partner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to wrap things up, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, it's been delightful. Thank you so much for coming. We've, been, we've really loved having the excuse to sit around every day and play tunes and figure out what we're going to what we're gonna put together so um yeah we, quite we, enjoyable we, we, we've sort of gone in, in sort of like little waves of doing online stuff but it's been it's been a little while since we've done one of these so uh we're very grateful to the ripton coffee house and to richard yeah. and beth for for having us here to do this um i think richard's uh, probably been posting our website but um uh, it's blackallmusic.com and of course you can find information on all of our CDs there as well as some of these events that we've been mentioning that we're involved in coming up. So yeah, so we'll do a last set of tunes. Um, thank you to Richard and Beth for again. pulling it all together. Thanks so much. And these are some French Canadian tunes, The Real Cecile and uh, Real Desjardins.
you go. Once again, great pleasure to play for you. Thank you so much, everybody from the Ripton Coffee House and everybody else, wherever you, you might be. And uh, one last thing on blackallmusic.com. Please, can, please uh, join up on our mailing list and we'll keep you informed on other events of ours. But I'll give the final word over to Richard. Take it away, Richard. Hi again. That was just so wonderful. Thank you, Keith and Becky. And also thanks to everyone for watching. Remember, these shows remain up on the Ripton Community Coffee House YouTube channel as well as our Facebook video page. They're available for you to watch again and also to recommend to your friends. Please be sure to donate to the performers. We aren't charging money at the door these days, obviously, so it's through your generosity that they get paid. We suggest a donation of $10 or $20, but don't be limited to that. <laughs> Feel free to donate whatever you want. If you don't want to pay online, you can contact the Ripton Community Coffee House and we will make arrangements with you. Thanks everyone for being part of the Ripton Community Coffee House's virtual concert series. On Saturday, May 1st, we will have the great Mark Arelli for our 26th anniversary show. And there'll be more information for that on our Facebook page and on our website as things progress. I hope you can join us. Until then, please stay safe and healthy and good night, everyone. <laughs>